how efficient are we as a human how much we take and how much we can convert those chemical energy into mechanical energy i'll be using two real world example long distance cycling and long distance running uh, to do show that calculation um, so here i have these six bicycle rides here and two running uh, long distance running you can access all this data on this link here so in this 63 miles of bike ride i have done it in three hours three and a half hours at a speed of 18.4 and my average heart rate was 154 and then the energy consumption was 3220 calorie for that 63 miles of run at that heart rate now to know how to calculate the energy consumption you can watch a video i have produced that activity metabolism or calorie burn from heart rate calculation under the openeducator.com slash ergonomics so we know how to calculate that and then the energy output that is the mechanical energy output so when i'm riding my bike i have the road uh, resistance the roughness of the road resistance from the road also the aerodynamic drag that i have to overcome to ride the bike so the amount of mechanical work done is calculated uh, 465 it was actually estimated uh, from that bike ride of that 63 and then we know the mechanical work 465 and then the energy that i have consumed or burned at that time is about 3000 so you divide 465 divide by that 3220 you get 14 percent efficiency of that right for that right and then i have calculated for all of this right just for the comparison we'll go into the comparison soon now what is this adjusted output so this energy output uh, was estimated i don't have an actual power meter on my bike uh, so this estimation i would say a little bit low because they are based on a laboratory study very smooth surface so i have added 15 percent energy output extra because of this the roads that i ride around here in mankato minnesota is very very rough the all the country roads that i ride they are very rough they're not as smooth as the trainer in the laboratory so uh, the energy output 15 percent added let's say 553 so about 17 percent efficient now if you look at my heart rate for that 63 mile ride the first ride 154 which is very high for me uh, my comfortable zone is between 135 to 145. Uh, to know what is your comfortable zone, there is a video in the openeducator.com, the activity, training, exercise, ergonomic zone of heart rate. So you can see uh, what would be your most comfortable um, heart rate zone where you can be most efficient. Check this video out for that. Um, so... 154 is pretty high for me so i'm not that efficient at that heart rate uh, so my efficiency came very low 17 percent the all other ride came about 20 percent except for that ride where i had uh, 163 miles this is a long long uh, very stressful ride over nine and a half hours just on the bike so um, also the efficiency came a little bit low for that right 17 percent which i i think is normal for that now so in summary i think my um, cycling efficiency is about 20 percent and which is about the same as um, most people uh, in cycling now on the running um, on the other hand um, you can see i have calculated the same uh, efficiency for running it came between uh, 40 to uh, 50 percent um, which is about the same as in published literature you can check some reference in the open com to find that out now to calculate the running output mechanical output there is a video right here you can check uh, uh, should be here this one how to calculate mechanical work of running you can check that out and um, then you will be able to calculate the mechanical work and this is the reference for that um, uh, 
mechanical work calculation. So in summary, humans are pretty efficient in running, almost about 50%. Now for that 27 miles run, it's not it's, it's not a joke. It's, it's the marathon, really, really stressful. So the efficiency came about 40% or less, which is okay. 15 miles is my comfortable. I can do it at six miles an hour. Okay. Um, not a big problem. So there I have made about 50% of um, efficiency from uh, running. Um, so in the next video, I will explain um, you know, kind of in a comparison how we do with respect to like a car, you know, um, the gas mileage or how much do we actually consume, uh, how many miles can we go if we eat some certain amount of food.